Good morning. It's been a while, hasn't it? Well, you maybe don't know that, but it's been a few, it's been a couple months. It's been a few months since I've filmed a, a day and eight, so I'm back. You know, it's, it's also been a few months since I've caught a fish. I haven't caught a fish since October, and it's the new year. Happy New Year, by the way. 2024. Big exciting things on the way. This is going to be a really epic year for me. But let's just start it off with catching a fish. And today what I'm going after is stocked brook trout. Join me. Here we go. One of the great things about living in Huntsville is access. You're so close to really awesome outdoor places. Um, north of you, east of you, and west of you is some pretty beautiful country. Here's a cluster of them. And honk. There we go. Just like that. <laughs> in Algonquin, we've uh, we've been calling it honk for the finches. So give a honk, everybody. Okay, I think, <coughs> I think we're here. All right, bibs are on for the first time this winter. Got our little sled packed. We only have a short little walk in. Um, there's already someone here, so it's all good. Anyway, let's uh, let's start walking. Another nice woodland creek. This one's cool because there's an otter slide. This otter is following the creek. Otters spend a lot more time on land once things freeze over and winter comes. Uh, and you know, they can slide to their advantage, but that's super cool. You can see his paw prints here. And then belly slide. Some more paw prints. Another belly slide. <laughs> You know, classic naturalist trying to get somewhere in a timely manner, and I'm just getting distracted by everything else. Not to mention, I'm moving a little slower than I should be. I'm, I'm still sick. Arguably, I shouldn't be here at all. Um, but after spending a week and not doing much, <clears throat> I feel like a weak little boy right now. I got one set line, drilled along the shoreline here to see where it kind of starts to drop off. And it's about right here. Stocked fish will often follow the perimeter of a lake, the place I wanted to fish, which has been taken. So when you're slow like me and you don't get here very early, that's the price you pay. So close. Okay, so that wasn't very long. We already had a jaw jacker go off. But you know the drill. I got one set line way over there. And then I'm actively fishing in this hole right here. I've got this nice little you know, waxy worm. Trying to go for more of a natural presentation, but we'll see. 
I'm already having so much fun. Birds are chirping. There's no wind. It's beautiful. Let's catch a fish. Hopefully this is recording. We got, we're hooked up. <laughs> really need to put bells on this because I didn't know. Oh man. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. Come on, Come on baby. Get dry, get dry. Well, I'm not sure how long that jaw jacker was set off, but we got our first rookie. Beautiful little, I don't know, two pounds. Gorgeous fish all colored up. I'm gonna wash it off, give you guys a better view. Oh man. Look at that. Gorgeous fish. Gorgeous brook trout. Nice colors on it. Really lovely, lovely fish. Look at that. Couldn't ask better for better. I'm gonna bring this one home. We're definitely eating this rookie. Next brook trout, nice female. A lot of different colors than the male. Very, very cool. Beautiful hen. This one is also getting bonked and it's going to my mom. I always make it a goal to bring fresh fish home. <laughs> fresh fish home from my mama. You know, that's what a good son would do, right? So I'm pretty excited. Seemed like I'm on to something here. Two fish. Unreal. First time ice fishing this year. Two on the board. Nice brook trout. I never fish for brook trout in the winter, so it's pretty sweet. It turns out not getting that spot wasn't so bad anyway. Oh. Oh, just went off. Jaw jacker just went off. Jaw jacker went off while we're talking. There we go. Another one. While we're talking. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so sick. Okay, well, we just got bang, 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 three trout. This is kind of crazy. Um, I don't usually have this kind of luck fishing for stock trout, so this is pretty refreshing, to say the least. Um, <coughs> trout are biting, and I can't complain about anything. Okay, let me think here. I gotta think straight. I think we're gonna make lunch. I'm gonna get this jaw jacker set up again. And then I'm gonna heat up lunch here. I'm kinda getting hungry. Obviously the fish are biting right now, so that's good. So like I said, I'm getting a little hungry. So I got the stove here, kettle here. And I've got some pretty yummy stuff going on. I got a burger bun and a nice piece 
the fish. There we go, we got a mug of fries and a nice little fish filet with chipotle and cheese. A hot meal is so much better on the ice. Eating fish, catching fish, thinking fish. Life's good. Life is good. Shot Jack coming off again. There you go. Oh my gosh. Can't tell if this is big or not. Oh, I think it's big. I think it's, oh, it's big. It's big. It's big. It's a nice fish. Not as big as the first, but it's nice. This has been the best stocked fishing day I've ever had. Somehow, oh my gosh. I think I foul hooked this fish. Somehow. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. It's in the mouth. It just has a wound on it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, foot pop tip. Okay, okay, okay. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ripped my gloves. That's gonna call it, folks. We're... We are done for the day after this. All right, just wanted to finish off the video here, at least the fishing part of it, with two beautiful male brook trout. So happy and blessed to be able to catch fish like this and bring them home. So it's a stocked lake, so this is a population that isn't self-reproducing. It's what they call put and take. They put fish in for you to take out, and so, taking these ones out and they are not going to go to waste they're going to make a bunch of different people very very happy including myself so um fun to catch but also a lot of fun to be able to bring something home for food obviously and a really wonderful day outside like nice hike uh you know i didn't catch anything for the first hour or so so you know there's a little bit more anticipation involved no complaints great first day on the ice to start the 2024 ice season time to pack up and head home with ample daylight time to get out of here all right we're back walk out versus walk in it's a breeze it felt like half the distance it did this morning i guess it's both uh being successful and the fact that for the most part when I was going to the lake it was all uphill so on the way down it was uh, on the way back it was all downhill which is kind of indicative of a good trout lake in general the higher elevation you are often that means better lakes so pretty cool time to drop off some fish uh, for some lucky people Another great day and eight. Catch you on the next one.